What is up everybody? This is Moritz here and I'm going to be showing you how you can get this Instagram inspired circle menu for your very own Shopify store with an app called Section Store. Step one I have opened up right here in the admin area of my shop. You can get it completely for free in the Shopify app store and it is a component library app with over 200 customizable components, Shopify exclusive and the one I used for this tutorial is the circle menu. I'm just going to click on it real quick. It does come with a one-time charge of $9, but that means if you bought it once, you will also own it forever. And it comes with all the customization options in the world, so you can pretty much customize everything. All the blocks here are clickable collections or links or whatever you prefer, actually. And you're not going to need an expensive developer. So I think at the end of the day, it's a pretty good deal. Let's head back to the My Sections area of the app where we want to install it to the theme we are using. In my case, it is the Dawn Light theme, but it does work on every theme, so don't worry about that. I've already done so, and now I just want to open it up, of course, in the theme editor, which you can do at the top area of the app, but I've opened up my own here already. So here you can see my test store, and if I scroll all the way down, that is the one you saw in the beginning of the video, and I just want to show you something, how the whole thing works. If you want to add it completely from scratch, just click on add section on the very bottom of your store and type in circle menu and it's going to get implemented. And that is the one I already filled with some content. And if I want to have a new bubble item, I'll just click on add item and then I can choose an image right here. Let's just pick a really random one. Maybe we're going to do this one. And here we want to set a title as well because collection doesn't really look that good. So we're going to put fashion and also link a collection to it. Let's just do sweaters. We don't have the perfect collection for that in this case, but at the end of the day, you'll have something going already. And if we want to do some general customization options, like changing the size, for example, of course, it does work on mobile as well. So if I click here, you can see that is also swipeable. That is working perfectly well. We made sure we optimize that. And here we can switch the image size as well if you want to have them a little bit bigger. If you want to hide it on desktop, that's of course possible too. So here we can see we just have the mobile ones right here. And we can swipe through here. And we can see the alignment as well. So right now it's going to be in the middle. And here it's on the right. So we're going to pick the middle so people can scroll both directions. We can change the text size so people can read it a little bit better. The border thickness is something we could change as well if you want to make that a bit bigger. And the color of the border is something we could change as well if you want to do red, yellow, whatever you prefer. But I think that purple kind of looks like the most like an Instagram story. So I think it attracts the most attention. And yeah, that was pretty much it. Let's save it all up. Make sure we can see it on the mobile and desktop as well. Oh, now we're actually hiding it on both. Sorry for that. Let's give this a little save up again, open it up. And in the next step, we should be able to see what we did. That is looking perfectly fine. And if I click on it, it is directly going to link us to the collection we linked it to. And that pretty much was the end of the video. And I hope you guys found it useful and you can build something nice with this section. With that being said, have a good one and peace out.